Hello, this is Ginny's Cook with RidgeviewMedia.com. One thing that I love about Storyline and um, also Articulate's other product, Studio 13, but with either of those e-learning development tools, the community, the user community, is very active. And on one of the Articulate community forums, there was from Monse Anderson, I'm pointing to her, a really good post regarding sharing and seeking um, ideas for making videos more interactive. So she threw down the gauntlet and I thought, let me see what I can do to make videos more interactive. So let me show you the sample that um, I created. What you see here is a built-in template that comes with Storyline that has this uh, avatar persona and the whiteboard already built for you. So the only elements I added to the screen was the title at the top. I inserted the picture of uh, Monse's uh, community post and this little blurb here that says making videos interactive. So let me talk you through my interactive video sample. Select the question mark to learn more. So I click it and the avatar has a worried look on her face and she said seniors should use a credit card instead of a PayPal account and please don't call the attorneys. I'm not uh, saying anything negative about PayPal. It was the only thing that came to mind. But notice how the video paused. Here's the um, uh, senior woman who's shopping online with her credit card. So uh, we that question mark disappears and the next one appears when this shopper turned the card to the reverse side. Credit cards have unique security codes on the reverse side. Click continue. The video continues and a third question mark stops the video. Credit cards provide better. So I just click the continue button and the video finishes. And it really is easy to do with layers. So let me pause right now and I'll show you my storyline window. I went to iStock Photo and uh, downloaded a comp of the video of the woman who's shopping and that's what you see in my timeline down here, flash video, um, it's just a comp. But here are my three question buttons, button number one, button number two, and button number three. And if you're familiar with Storyline, you know that you create layers and each of these buttons triggers to open a layer. So let me show you layer one. And that's where the avatar persona narrator talks about seniors should shop online using a credit card. But the most important thing is on layer number one, click the um, wheel to look at properties is you need to select pause timeline of base layer otherwise the movie will keep playing so essentially what I did was created layer one added my properties and then just did copy copy twice to create layers two and three and as you see here's the button uh, for layer number one appears and then it disappears appears and disappears for button two and button three. And it's really quite easy. Um, let me preview this slide and um, again just using simple um, buttons with triggers to open a layer. This is layer one. You can still see the base layer um, visible. So I click the continue button to close layer one. The video continues and then I click the second button and the video pauses because I selected that property on the layer and this you know just continues to the third and again I just want to close by saying again please click the wheel and select for base layer pause timeline a base layer and that will make your buttons in your movie happy dappy so thank you for watching and I can't wait to create additional interactive video samples with Articulate Storyline because Storyline makes it very easy. Have a good day.